Good evening, X-Wing, and welcome to Echo Base X-Wing Mission Debriefing. I am still Walker Darko, and with me tonight are Jake Ream. Hey, everybody. How is it going? And Kevin Leintz. Hey, everybody. All right. So tonight we have got a, what does this say, local hyperspace championship? Yeah, yep, this was last night's yep, it's up in the city. final cities. table. Between Andy Priest hey everybody. and what's McDonough's first name? Alex. All right, McDonough. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Uh, anything to talk about before we get started? Um, I think a couple things. Uh, one, the 4T70s have a couple different variants now. Uh, this one has Wexley in it, so it's not like the three heroic ones that we saw before. We're starting to see a lot more of that in play. Um, I know he did pretty good in Swiss. I don't think he went undefeated, though, but I think he was X and 1. Uh, and then McDonough made the final table a month ago at uh, another hyperspace event and lost to four-star Vipers with this exact same list. I think uh, I had heard him say last night that this is the like fourth hyperspace in a row where he made top eight and this is the first one that he managed to take down with the same list the pokova fin yep yeah um i don't the only i guess the only note that i have is so i had never seen because i'd never played against it and i had never played with leia until last night afterwards i was kind of dinking around with a, a list with leia in it she's real good she that's my takeaway <laughs> <laughs> she's real uh, good yeah. <laughs> she can superman through space what did you expect i guess superman in the list then yeah and you pretty much got it yep so yeah um i don't have anything else to take away on this one <laughs> <laughs> all right well then without further ado let's um let's go um and we will have a little bit of the title screen to start out but so the one thing, so when I was looking at uh, games to cover for this episode, uh, this one stuck out in my mind as there's a few key turns and there's some tunnel vision, I think, is, is probably the best way to, to put it. And that's why I wanted to, to cover this one. Um, so it'll be so we are, we're, are we allowed to tell people when they made the incorrect decision then, Jake? I think you are, as you have always been. <laughs> Okay. We just have to d remember to do it with tact, right? <laughs> so oh. while they're setting up, I mean, <clears throat> I guess we can go over the list really fast. I mean, it's just four T seventies. One's Wexley with composure and black one. The other ones are all just generics. One's a three, one's a one, and then Jess. Well, it's a little interesting because they have different pilot skills. I mean, a lot of times you see yeah. all. I know all the he same. used the. I know he used the blue a couple games to block with the I1. Mm -hmm. So I think that's actually kind of well, not a bad idea. Right. And then McDonough, all caps. So I really like this jump out and try to just touch Poe. Yep. I, th okay. I think you know that Poe's not coming into that like when you when you see an ace or an ace like ship over there you you know they're not coming out but it puts that early pressure on that ship to get away and yep. I, I do too i really like seeing that um andy is just diving out right away and, and putting that pressure on poe well and that's because yep, he sets up last so you know full well he knows what he's doing yep right. and and kova and finn are at least three turns from getting involved like this yeah. is perfect as far as andy's concerned like make poe run to them if that's what he does fine have the joust that you want to have anyway but know that poe isn't flanking you in the meantime right yep. well no other, I, I like this a lot the other thing with that is poe is not like super fast like soon tier or the jedi or anything like that with what the five the four forward being the fastest move he can do aside from 
making him use black one early, you're putting a very good amount of pressure on Poe right off the yep. bat. And he's literally the same ship as all of Andy's ships, so right. there is no... Same chassis, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because let's be real, Poe's not the same ship. But he's the same chassis. Right. <laughs> yes. But yeah, that is, as chat said, that is a fat Poe. It is. Um, I know, I've been on record. I understand it's been useful here and there, but I'm not a fan of the outmaneuver. The rest of it all, sure. Mm. Like, I get the regen. I get the rest of it. Sure. I just outmaneuver. Eh. Not for me. <laughs> That was a very so, political way to say that. Um, <laughs> I feel like you continue to just go fast, right? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, either either you go like a three forward and maybe boost, or you just dial in three banks. Mm-hmm. For yeah. Well, or you could um two bank the innermost one and then do three banks on the outers. You know what I mean? Sure. But like, yep. I think keep your front. And kind of close the door, but start to swing left in case he tries to do like a three three and just like get out of there. Yeah. Well, yeah, but if you three bank and do a yeah boost to the left, you get quite a bit of distance. Right. Well, I, I think don't boost though. Right. I think you you continue to play it because worst case scenario, Poe has to run to the other two, and he has to spend Leia to allow Poe to K turn and not be stressed, so he still gets actions, which means Kova is not going to roll three dice probably that turn, or she's not going to have a mod if she does three dice. Because typically he uses Kova and Leia so that he can get a mod, you know, some kind of modifier with her ability. Right, because then you effectively have three ships with three attack dice. Because, yep. I mean, Finn is going to be adding a die. Right. And I know it sucks here, but I still feel like you just kill Finn. Just fire everyone at Finn. Try to block him with the one, and then everybody else just unload on him. Because worst case scenario, he spends his tokens on defense, and I will tell you this, a Finn without any tokens doesn't do any damage on offense. Right. And Kevin, there's a question for you in Twitch chat. Do you think Poe must still only be played with BB-8, or is R2 fine? Nope. Like, R2's fine. (laughs) Sure, I guess. But I'll never do it, uh, especially after I played two games last night with Leia. Holy crap, BB-8 Poe is ridiculous. So, yeah, playing some games with Leia made me even more confirmed in my belief that he should always have BB-8. But I understand the R2 regen. So if I were not to play BB-8, I would play R2. I would never play R4. Mm-hmm. That's just my two cents. Well, and the the difference between the two is... With BB-8, if you don't want to get shot, you're not going to get shot. So you don't need to regen. And the I think R2, right, You maybe allows you to play Poe a little tankier. Oh, for sure. But, um, I think we were talking about it last night, Kevin, with with BB-8, you can, you can kind of put Poe in a little more risky situations and still have an out. Yeah, and with R two, you just you don't get that. Nope, that's and then when you add Leia on top of the R or the the BB eight, like oh, you're it's just madness. Never gonna, it's almost uh, the same level of ridiculousness as trying to predict where Guri is going to go with advanced sensors. Yep. So I really like. Still, I like what Andy's doing. Uh, I like his approach a lot. I don't like Finn's approach. I feel like now you know Finn has to go fast. So if those X-Wings keep going fast, he could overshoot Finn, and Finn is kind of like out of combat for a little while. Yep. Okay, so here's the K-turn. Was this the, the Leia K-turn? Uh, yes, this is the Leia K-turn. I can't believe he K-turned right here. Okay. It feels like he's bring on the joust. Yeah, when uh... I saw this while we were watching, uh, I was very surprised that he K-turned here. Uh, yeah. I, I felt like the, the direction that Andy was going was pretty telegraphed. And not that he was trying to telegraph it, but, you know, the way Poe turned right. And really, that's, I don't know, to me, the only logical way that Andy was going to go. So and 
you're turning Poe back into four firing arcs. Like, so I don't know how long the dial setting is. I didn't since I didn't watch this part of the game at all. Is this a long dial set? Because I feel like we should maybe synchronize a pause and have a quick discussion because I think this is a key moment of the game. Yeah, I think. So. Are you guys okay with that? Yeah, we can do a pause at. All right, what are you at for time? Seven fifty-six. All right, I'll pause it at seven fifty-six. Yeah, that's what I'm at right now. I just pause at eight. So. All right, I'll pause it at eight. Figure that out. Okay. Um. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Walker. You can start. No, no, yeah, I was telling you, okay, we're paused. Okay, um, so let's think about this right here. From the Resistance perspective on McDonough's side, um, Finn cannot to turn and not hit that rock, right? Uh, it would be really, really close. It would be close. He might... If he can't, because bit. of the angle, like, we might be off just a little bit but i think if he does two turn to the left then finn is going to be very very close to hitting that rock if not hitting that rock so is it probably safe to say that you as the t70 player the four ship t70 is safe to assume that finn is not going to two turn in right uh yes and even if finn does two turn in i think as andy playing the four t70s if you take this turn to go slow, he doesn't need to shoot do you. Two things, right? Yeah. It's going to throw McDonough off because now twice we've seen Andy go pretty fast, two turns in a row. Yep. And it's not going to allow Finn to be in the fight, which also means Kova's not going to be in the fight. And that means you either like you corner Poe or you cause him to spend black one to get out of trouble. Okay, I agree. Because if I had to guess, Finn is on like a uh, two or three, probably a two forward, and then the next turn will turn turn in, and then Kova comes between those rocks, I'm guessing. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, so in my opinion, so what is what is Andy afraid of here? He's afraid of what? Possibly a four forward, 4K turn, black one? Or... Yeah. Like a three bank something or like a three turn something. Yep. So I well, feel yeah. like because they're all T seventies, and I'm I'm trying to see if he can do this. Like if you just one forward all of them, focus and barrel roll them all to the right, you cover almost every terrible scenario. And if he does, I, I mean, I guess if he does decide to do the one move that I, I guess I wouldn't expect. Oh, cool. And we lost Kevin. We lost Kevin. Um, the other issue about the one forward and barrel rolling everybody is they are all different initiatives. So the one would have to move first. And if it barrel rolled to the right, yeah. then the threes would come and slam behind it and bump into it, I would think. Yeah, and I don't think... Uh... I don't think Kevin was thinking about that while he was talking about that move, but right. You still that I think if you go slow here as Andy, you're covering most of the options. Yes. And the the thing that uh, Kevin was talking about was the uh, Poe doing a four forward and then using black one to do a, a K turn. Right, and getting way behind it, you. Yeah, and then you're way behind like Andy's whole formation there. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how scared of it you really should be anyway, though, because it's just Poe, right? Like, right. even if Poe gets behind you, um, you're taking a three-die shot. Uh, maybe a four if he decides to use uh, Poe's ability to get a target lock for the proton torpedoes. But you... You know, you could be facing that if Poe, like, if Poe turned into you, you're going to be taking a three die or four die shot anyway. Right. And and, uh, and for people at home, just for a little side note, if you have, like, a little post-it of, like, a gerbil water bottle that you want to just post over Kevin's picture, um, I feel like there's <laughs> a lot of things you can do with that. Uh, and now it's just Jake because Kevin's oh. fully disconnected, but he should come back and the cameras will fix yeah um, but no i i see that i mean i think if you look at like a one forward without the barrel roll or even a one b 
bank if you're really that worried about Poe. Yep. Um, that might keep your options pretty open. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't think anyone's really afraid of Finn's offense. No, I I agree. You're and where Finn is, like he, unless you go really really fast with those T70s, I don't think Finn or Kova is in the shot or in range to take shots that turn. So I agree. There's really, no need to to be afraid. Um. I know the other thing that Kevin didn't get a chance to mention is knowing these players, um, McDonough does like to do the four forward 4K turn. Oh, okay. And it's it's pretty well known in the Twin Cities community that like when McDonough is playing Poe, that's one of the moves he likes to do is the, the four 4K. And Kevin's back. Sorry. I mean, I will point out that Kevin did this to himself because he bragged right before the show that his computer hadn't frozen in a while. <laughs> so he, yeah, like, been so I think that's all taken care of, said Kevin. Yeah, and then... Or more, well, I think that's all been taken care of, said Kevin. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know how much you guys got of my little... Uh, yeah, we did. I mean, my first comment was the barrel roll thing um, doesn't necessarily work because of the different initiatives, since they're not all twos right now. As soon as one moved in Barrel Road, three couldn't do it. Yeah, and if you have to like be cute about it, like one may have to go two forward, and then the rest, like right. the the uh, Blue Squadron rookie, could just go two forward and then Barrel Roll, and mm-hmm. then the rest could all do one forward barrels, whatever. But I'm just speaking in a general term. Yep, and we yeah. we kind of discussed that option. So are we? Are you all set now, Kevin? Yeah, I'm good. I'm back to eight. Okay, okay. so you? Oh yeah, you have Windows 10 where everything just saves every time anyway. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, all right. if we're all satisfied, are we ready? Yep. Okay, let's all right, go. Let's go. Um, right. And we might now have a little more time, too, because dials are not down. Yep. Yeah. So what are you thinking? What is probably McDonough going to do with Poe, if you had to guess? Gosh, now that you say he has a habit, I do think the 4 forward 4K does seem pretty good right there. It's possible. To get yourself behind and... that all those guns. And like, let's just say that happens, right? Let's worst case scenario that he's going to have a single mod because he has to spend an action to do black one. So he's only going to have a target lock. Let's just say you lose three shields on an X wing. Okay. Worst case scenario, you lose three shields. Mm -hmm. That's still not half points. And now Poe is a sitting duck. I feel like if you trade, if you trade an X wing for Poe, You'll do that every time, right? 100%, because Poe should be worth half your list because he's 93 points. Right. And that's like worst case scenario, right? If you actually lose an X-Wing right, for yeah. Poe. So I feel like if he's going to do it, you just, fine. I'm going to let you do it. Fine. Otherwise, if you don't, I'm going to murder you with all of my guns. But how can you kill Finn if you only have three X-Wings, Kevin? Well, if you, sh- <laughs> if you, if you block him, I heard he dies. <laughs> And And if you shoot at him with three ships, he doesn't have that many focus tokens. Which is the strength of having, um, outside of Temin having an ability and being a four, uh, you know, it's nice to have all threes when you run three reds with Jess. Um, But having that blue as a one, that's your fin blocker. And when you're seeing a lot of fin, it's it's a very nice tool to have in your belt. Yep. Is that like SPF 100 fin blocker or? Um, SPFs over 30 don't really matter, but I don't want to get into it. Okay. <laughs> I did notice actually in a lot of games too that just playing Finn, I ended up taking initiative just so that people couldn't block me because there was a lot of twos. So yeah, mm. no, it's a, it's a real thing. And that's why I think the one is actually kind of smart. <sighs> so the, the other thing you could do, like Andy could do, if if you really do think that if he does think that mcdonough is gonna do the 4k flip then he could also go really fast and dive in on finn this turn and just nuke him off the table oh so you're saying like three just po. like yeah just like three three banks. banks and just right there yep <sighs> yeah you could i just <laughs> so i just I heard Sturm like... in the background going yeah we got two hours right <laughs> like just mocking. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, you could. I feel like if this is a chance, though, that you could really isolate Poe for one to two turns. Sure, and you could, yeah. This would be a good opportunity to do that and really put pressure on Poe. Yeah. And the one forwards don't sacrifice too much, right? Like, no. if he does do some kind of shenanigans and you don't shoot at him, like, okay, fine. I will just continue my joust with the ships that have to joust me, and yep. I will out-joust them. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Because even if Kova does her, her, what, the Leia trick to get the extra red die and the green die, like, it's, yep. it's a two green, three red ship. Like, it's an X-Wing. You're fine. Yeah, I mean, it does regen, which is annoying, but it will die. It will die. And the same with Finn. Like, Finn will die. Oh, Lord. We are committing to Poe going... Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm really panicking about this because so even I if... I watched this in real time, so I'll let you handle this, Kevin and Walker. So, just out of... This could be really great. Oh, this boost. I was about to say, or... Yes. <laughs> So he doesn't block the three turn. Let's say Poe did like a three turn right ship right. Uh, yep, he didn't block that. Uh, like he is all in on the four four. And there's the two forward with Finn, like we called. Well, we. Well, I was. I'm part of we, so I can say it. Well, <laughs> uh, I mean, it was. <laughs> yeah, the two turn I don't think fit there. So you you just have to keep going forward. Get next to that asteroid and then turn in. Yep. Oh, he is all in. Because <laughs> at first I thought, well, maybe he's just trying to block the three bank or something. <laughs> no, he is all in on the four four. <laughs> okay. I, I at this point I would start taking some target locks. And I think that's what he's talking about. Yep. Hey. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, at least he did that. I'm assuming they're all going to two bank now at this point. Boy, I sure hope he doesn't do a three turn. I didn't see this, by the way, so I don't know what happens. Oh, like a three turn what? with that with number so with why ten. Why focus? Uh, unless he thinks he's out of range, why focus? I think he thinks he's out of range, which he he just could measured have... though. Right, from if he ship. would have taken just a little bit longer on that on the measuring from uh, the other the one, yeah, squadron or Jess, I, I can't remember which was which, but yeah, if he would have just looked at it like a second longer, he would have known whether. He oh, and then that focus, out. like you know, you're in range. Why are you focusing? I mean, at ah. least you're not taking shots from Kova or Finn. Sure, please don't show me a three turn. Uh, chat, this is a final table at the um, Dreamers. Oh, that's uh, a three turn. In Minnesota. Oh, boy. At least that feels thematic, because Poe's a better pilot, you know. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> so that's no shots on Poe, is what I'm seeing? Uh-huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, okay. How was that outmaneuver treating you, Kevin? <laughs> so <laughs> that's that's the other thing, right? Because your opponent makes mistakes, doesn't make a card suddenly really good. <laughs> did he just roll three naturals? Yeah, he and did. then locks it into four. I mean, I heard that's good. I also did hear that there were not a lot of. Um, good green dice roll. Let's say that <clears throat> on Andy's side. So he just straight up takes four mm -hmm. off of. Yep. Which pilot is that? That would be Jess. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Well. And so, Kevin, this was the turn that I was saying. Uh, was where Andy overcommitted. Yes. That is a word I could use here. <laughs> it, it's um, a word you could use. He can still recover oh, yeah. at this point with some town rolls and K-turns. Mm -hmm. He can. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. I hope he does that. 
Yeah, because, was... yeah, you know what I'm going to say, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, he's still in this. Like, that was that was terrible. And now he's in a really terrible position for one more turn, but he can still recover from this. Maybe wishes he had saved some points for heroic. Well, just can't take heroic. I'm yeah. out on everyone else. Uh, I mean, the red could. And Wexley, right? Wexley... You really should just use composure because it's dumb and it works really good. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But you could totally drop the black one title and put heroic on the red. Yeah. Like I, I guess you're gonna use black one, but I don't believe you. Hey, Kevin, do you see uh, Twitch chat? <laughs> Tyler's here. Oh God, whatever, Tyler. <laughs> on a red. No, nah, it makes sense. <laughs> Otherwise, why are you bringing the red? Like, just bring a different ship. Look, Tyler, if you if you haven't watched our show before, I'm not very good. That's why at Adepticon, I was on the side talking to your girlfriend while you were playing in the championship. Okay, I, Tyler says crack. <laughs> sure. Crack shot sounds fine. I'm totally on board with crack shot. I think that's one of the best cards in the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for a point. Uh, yes. Yes, please. That's very good. So, I really want to see some talent rolls and K-turns from Andy here. Well, and, and yeah, and this is a, a great turn to do it because you you kind of know where Poe probably is going to go. Like, he could use Leia to help Poe. Clear the stress. Yeah, with a, a white maneuver and, and turn it blue. But yeah. like you still have a really good idea where Poe's probably going to go. And you're still uh, um, having him isolated from the rest of his squad. Why is he doing a two-turn? Why is this not a talent roll? Because he uh, thinks Poe is going there. Uh, My money would be on Poe just doing a two-turn right or a three-turn right and using Leia to help clear the stress. Mm -hmm. Like, I would just assume that Poe is leaving towards the rest of the ships. So with that blue or a four squadron, forward. I, I think that brings up a good point of... Uh, I think we used to hear the Minox or Fly Better talk about it all the time, is if you point your arc in the to the point where that ship was so like in this case if that uh, blue squadron rookie is going to try to target poe and if he would have talon rolled his arc would be pointed where poe currently is and then you would still have shots on poe right yes but what am i seeing right now what is going on they're changing our options He's going to have no modifiers. Uh, in the words of Bill O'Reilly, F it, we'll do it live. <laughs> He's going to so boost, this, isn't think, he? Uh, okay. Pinpoint a historic milestone in Mission Debriefing series. Kevin is speechless. I mean, <laughs> this isn't farmer levels of dial maneuvering, but I just like... <laughs> I just don't. If he's doing this, then what the heck is Blue doing? Uh, I mean, by himself. You and I have played before, Kevin, where I roll good dice and I, I tell you that's my strategy, and you say, good dice can be a strategy. I mean, it can be. I you mean, it's usually sarcastic. Can't can't it. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the backup, okay. Uh, Silver Phoenix Fire, that's why none of my games have been on here either. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, if you're going to do this, then bring all the ships to do this? I just don't understand this, because I'm really worried about what's going to happen to that blue. He's going to slowly pick off Poe. I promise he won't. With no modifiers and Poe has regen? <laughs> no. 
Yeah. Uh, I like that. Andy's whole strategy is to be unpredictable. If he doesn't, he just puts the dice, he just flips the dials randomly, sets them down. If he doesn't know what he's doing, there's no way his opponents can. Here's what's also kind of frustrating with the whole what he did with blue. Um, if there's anyone that you want near Poe, or I'm sorry, near Finn, it's him. Because right, you could block he's your him blocker, with yeah. the one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So peeling him off is just like, what? Did they just not even assume that he had a shot at Finn? Because I saw that they didn't check arc to Finn. Oh, this must be the shot at Finn. Okay. Yeah, he does the shenanigans and dodges. Yep. Mm -hmm. So Twitch uh, chat, uh, that's Andy Myers uh, saying that um, Andy making these unexpected moves and maybe trying to catch... Kova or Finn off guard. Uh, probably not the worst thing that he could have done. Uh, uh, I mean, because we were we were already talking about how he probably could ignore Poe and just go after either Finn or Kova to start with. Well, I mean, like, he had a great opening. Mm -hmm. He just sold out on the 4-4, which... Again, worst case scenario, he does it and you lose shields. Okay. Yeah, and Tyler, you're you're right. Like if you just ignore Finn, he just doesn't really do anything. Always my argument well, with Finn. While Finn is broken, you can't there's ignore still him. there's still hundred and sixty oh more points. Three blanks. Oh, yeah. Uh, but no, I mean, you right, can't Walker. fully ignore Finn, but yes. No, but I'm saying, I mean, you as can strategy, play him. You can kill everything else and win almost every match. Yeah. Well, you can kill the other ships, Tyler. <laughs> like Tyler. Finn is, yes, if you Finn can. Finn is constantly <laughs> dealing two to three damage to you a turn and no one's doing anything about it. It's kind of a problem. Oh, my God. Have you guys seen the Simpsons Beer Baron episode where he's like, I'll catch you, Beer Baron, and you just hear Homer out of nowhere, no, you won't. <laughs> yes, I will. That's what I'm expecting out of Tyler right here. Like, you can't ignore him. Yes, you can. So, <laughs> all the dice have been rolled. Did he do any damage? No, he did no damage, right? Um, po he did no damage to McDonough? No, there was, there was a shield. There was oh, Poe lost a shield? That's going to come back? Okay. Is it... Yeah, that's on Poe. All right. Well, um, so now Andy has to make a decision on who he's going to target again. Yeah, and and what Tyler's saying too is is that the that pod like the dial is so bad that it is a terrible you, dial. As and long as you out PS it or you have a higher initiative, it should never be shooting. And we discussed that privately too that you should be able to arc dodge that. Yep. Yeah, and he's he's not going to use Leia for Finn's dial unless he has to. Yeah. He won't. Um, so I guess you go all in on Kova here with those three T70s and you just go fast? Yeah, just go kill Kova. Like, try to like get Kova. Leia off the board. It is a lot of points. I mean, the only problem, too, is she is a little beefy and she's probably going to go backwards, which is also dumb. But if, if you think he's going to go backwards, I guess you just turn everybody in and you murder Finn. But... Huh. I'm trying to think of what you do with the blue. Like, how brave do you think Poe's going to get? Do you think he K-turns here? Uh. You could... Because you could just, like, go forward and take a focus. Yeah. The other thing that he could do is if Kova's just going to back up and you think Kova's safe for the turn, you could use Leia to have Poe do like a white Talon or a white K turn. Yeah, <clears throat> that's why I mentioned um, mm -hmm. Poe maybe doing a K turn or a Talon and you just kind of go forward with the blue to block it. Right. Um, if, yeah, it also is like how well do you know McDonough? Like, I think I've seen a couple of his games. He likes to back up a lot. I would have my money on that Kova's going to back up, not go forward. So I would just go slow and turn everybody at Finn and just try to murder Finn this turn. Yeah. Like, and if I you have four if... guns at him, you should kill him. Right. And I wonder if part of Andy's 
like dial choices here are that he has played McDonough probably, you know, a handful of times before and is familiar with his play style. So he's playing the player and not the list. Sure. I also think he boosts too much. Like he, he's had like no mods on a lot of his shots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you just like one forward and one bank, everybody, you just murder Finn right now. Yep. Yeah, chat's talking what? about Poe Talon rolls and. Why are you. I don't get this move. Oh, part of the problem is the table. You can hear. When, from what I can hear, the background of the actual video, I can hear Kevin talking as well. So it's actually <laughs> kind of trippy. Oh, Tim and I, I know this was me playing. I was playing against uh, another guy. I was testing out a list. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Finn's going to cause a block on like all of them. This might be a range one shot, though. No mods, but Finn, you know, has all the mods in the world. <sighs> they both. Yeah, I'm really concerned that this is also going to be a block. Jeez. Now, while I try to be the most uh, wholesome I can be while I'm on here, but I think it's safe to call this a cluster frick. <laughs> um, yeah, it did not go as Andrew expected. <laughs> That's one range huh. one shot, though. All right, are we going to see the backup? Hey, look, it's the backup. Hey, you know, maybe if he just waits, he'll just back right up off the board. We were, I remember at one point <laughs> we were talking about that because I walked over there. I'm like, is, is Kova off the board? Like right when I sat down. It must have been like after this turn or something. You're like, oh, no, she's on the board. She's just against the board edge. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep, yeah, so this must be the Talon roll. <clears throat> Uh, Poe likes this. Yep. And the middle fits, so then he decides to slide it forward or back. Do a yeah. little Toronto roll. <laughs> there was a couple of people at the event that were referencing Toronto rolls. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Just when people were doing barrel rolls and stuff. So let me guess. Yeah, he's going to... Oh, he's going to focus target lock. Okay, I thought he was going to boost into range one. Nah, you got proton torpedo. You oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. You don't need to boost the torpedo. Because <laughs> you gotta light him up with a proton torpedo. Yep. I forgot about that card. Yep. Hey, look, a good roll. Spend it for one. Oh, only three. Two, the two crits. Yep. <laughs> yeah, well, it's all shields. Proton but... torpedo po. This is nope. a really, really hefty po. There goes shields. <clears throat> uh, Kevin, you are the Twin Cities gatekeeper, according to Tyler. It's your fault this got to finals. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's my fault. I'll take the blame. I played four ship resistance with A-Wings, and apparently that was not a good idea anymore. So, yep, that was my fault. Uh, <clears throat> I, don't, I agree. I don't know if we could blame you, though, Kevin, because you didn't play in the top eight. Yeah, I didn't. I <laughs> did not, because I played with the A-Wings. I thought it was good, but apparently I was wrong. Green dice variants sucks. Uh huh. I mean, we've been telling you for a while now that you're playing the wrong game because you're trying to play wholesome lists. Yeah, well, I played a not wholesome list last night and it felt really oppressive, but it was really good. There are some shields. <laughs> so Andy has two shields on his whole list. Okay, how can we recover from this turn? Oh, he's still rolling dice. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. They're not done rolling dice yet. <clears throat> Two hits against Finn with the focus. I promise it won't hurt him. Hey, look, it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt him. Look at my shock face. Finn's not broken because he's been laying in that spa suit for so long. Okay. <laughs> so now he has a really bad problem because <laughs> he's pinned <laughs> with Poe flanking. Mm hmm. 
Oh my gosh. That being said, Andy has rolled how much paint? Not much. Well, to be fair, he hasn't had any mods when he's been rolling his defense, has he? No. True. And he's been rolling like one to two dice at a time. Yeah, I mean, he hasn't rolled a natural evade yet this game. I think this was around the time that I sat down and started watching the game. I think so. Because <laughs> this is where Cove is against the board edge, and I walk over there, and I'm like, oh, there's not a lot of shields. And I look over at McDonough's side, and I'm like, what the hell's going on? So at, at one point, I know that the joke was being made that this was red versus blue. So red <laughs> shields versus blue shields. <laughs> yes, Vic said that, yeah. So how, how can he recover here? Um... Yeah, because I don't know how he turns around and gets Finn back in arc. I think you have to ignore Finn at this point. Yep, I mean... And, and cut your losses. I mean, do you just, like, town roll blue and turn the other guys all towards Poe and be like, look, just use black one this turn, and then we'll figure out the next turn after that? I don't I don't know, because I don't I don't like the position that that would put you in. Like if you, I mean, he's in a terrible position either okay. way. Okay, but but we're but trying yes. to look at the like, how does he get out of this, right? And making a putting yourself in a, another position where the following turn you're like, oh crap, what do I do again? Like that's not gonna help him. What if, uh, what if you town rolled the two that are touching Finn mm -hmm. to the ship left? Yep. And then you town, um, you. You could town roll blue right, and then like turn in with. I'm assuming that's Wexley in the back because he's yeah. been moving last, and then like turn Wexley in and try to get like a boost. So that way you've got two guns threatening Poe, and then you have your X wings kind of protected by the rock a little bit mm -hmm. and at a distance, and then you can turn in blue and have a bunch of space where ships should be the following turn. Yep. And I think that that would give you decent positioning as well. Yeah. Yep. I so think that's maybe the best way. There's you can a recover. gun threatening Poe. And yeah, as we see, so we get a talent roll out of the blue. I like that so far. Yep. Give me two more talent rolls. Uh, Tyler, you're not wrong. He probably just black ones away anyway. Yeah, but make him but, use it. But you're making him use it. It's a, it's a resource that he will no longer have. Yep. And then you're in a decent position to recover. Mm -hmm. I just can't figure out where all these ships are going to go. Give me the talon rolls. Okay, I guess the two turns. <clears throat> That's okay. But here's the problem. He's going to boost again, isn't he? I see it. No, he focused. Okay. Okay. He got mods, Kevin. He he's gonna have a mod for a shot. He probably won't have. Yep. I would take a target lock, by the way, instead Just of a so focus. you could hold it. If he runs away, then you got it for later. Yep. Well, I mean, Poe's not gonna shoot at that guy. There's no way. If he does that, he's dead or half points. And Blair talked a lot about this um, in War Room. Like, I think people with lower initiative, or if you're moving first, just need to be more cognizant of when they will and won't be shot at and mm -hmm. take target locks more proactively. I think that was a really good point that Blair talked about. Because I don't see people take target locks a lot, and I think they should be taking them more often. Well, here are all the ships facing the same direction. So Wexley does his composure shenanigans, I'm assuming? Yeah. So united front. And then take a lock? <laughs> take the lock, yes, good. Take it. Uh, the other thing that you guys, I know when I watched War Room, you guys were talking about, and, and I know we've talked about it before, is when you like you took an evade, like that ship is probably then not going to get shot at if there's other ships that don't have an evade or a focus. You know, mm -hmm. so presenting your opponent with targets of opportunity 
and using that to your advantage for your other actions in the list. Like that that blue could have taken a target lock and then somebody else Ooh. maybe focus. Hello. I mean some hot dice could really turn this game right now. Ooh, that's an aggressive two bank. <clears throat> I don't know how you black one out of this one. Uh, yeah, you, you can't really. <laughs> Actually. I think he could. You might be able to two bank black one left, maybe. I was thinking I two turn. Tell. And then boost, but mm, it's yeah. hard to tell. A, well, even a two turn would get you out of two of the arcs. Well, then you'd have a boost afterwards as well. And that would get you right. out of at least one more. Right. The is this the one. black one? Yep. Okay. 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 Yep. yep. Is it two bank? Ooh. And then we're gonna probably see a boost. I'm assuming after this. Yep. Okay. So he did have room to two bank. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that boost will sit real nice. Oh, you put it down, McDonald. You have to do it. <laughs> Touch the board. All right, so Poe's black one tile's gone. All right, and Poe is at least offline for a turn. Mm -hmm. It looks like <clears throat> the Cove was the only shot. And I think she's still unmodded because she did a four forward, used Leia to make it white, and she's stressed from the last turn. Yep. So she'll roll three dice, um, but it rock. is unmodded through a rock at two ships that have focus tokens, I think. And possibly range three. Oh, we're going... Uh Tyler asked why he didn't reach in there. I think he forgot. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah, I think he forgot because he took a disabled token for right. the black one. I think he forgets to regen a couple times this game. Oh. I mean, Two, I mean it's slightly above average, but not much. Dice cup. Plus. That's rough. Yeah. And then they forgot the extra. There was like a dice that got stuck in his cup or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and still yeah. popped out as a blank. Yeah, that's rough. No paint when you're sitting there with the focus token. Okay. All right. Well, now you do some K turns. Mm -hmm. And Finn is probably going to do a K turn. <clears throat> So, like, he's, and I think around this time, Andy made the comment, Andy Meyer. uh, Myers, that that Andy Priest is still in this game. And mm -hmm. he, I think he still is. Like, he's behind, but he's still in this game. And especially with the direction that Poe is going, the direction that Finn is going, he's still in. Like, uh, Andy Priest can now regroup, take a turn to... You know, yep. <laughs> resituate all of his ships and come up with a new game plan. Yep. And I mean, he's got some target locks, yep. so that should help. Yeah, Andy Myers, you're right. It's definitely an uphill battle, but it's still winnable. It is. Because like, he's, he's still outnumbers McDonough in ships. He's only lost 26 points so far. Yep. Um, blue is in kind of a tough spot though because he needs to get rid of that stress mm -hmm. I think he needs to go fast enough so that Finn does not get a shot at him if he flips but make sure that he's not in the way for the K turns so I think he needs to like 2 bank or 3 forward I'm not... I think he could 3 forward and be fine okay it'll put him in an awkward spot though because if you 3 forward and then try to K turn to get he could th around the following turn, or yeah, I guess you could. He could three turn him. roll, and that might help. Yeah. <laughs> so Poe banks away, clear stress. Kova still needs to clear her stress. And Finn flips. 
So Copa probably does like a one bank or something. And I remember after the game, I talked with Andy a little bit, and I, I told him, um, we talked about the overcommit, um, but I told him really what he needed to do is kind of faint, make Poe afraid and run away, just like Soontir does. And then he needed to just joust the jousting part of the list because he will out-joust it. And as he removes guns and resources from the table, eventually Poe will become overwhelmed and will have less options. And I, and I told him, like, if you trade an X-Wing for... Finn and half of Kova, and then you kill Kova, you're still looking at probably two and a half ships versus Poe at the end game. Yeah. And he was like, yeah. I said, you just can't be afraid to take the jousts sometimes. And and that's just what you need to do sometimes. But <clears throat> it was a good talk afterwards. He's like, I learned a lot from this game, which is good. Yeah, and, and you definitely learn a lot more from losing and making mistakes than you do from winning yep you do so k turns town rolls essentially the same thing seems yep. fine i'm still just getting everything turned around and getting back into this kill the irish shuttle uh italy he painted oh, it italy. To be, ah, that's why yeah someone actually asked that question that's what the question was and it could just be the color on the camera too that threw me so he does the one bank to clear the stress i mean his name <laughs> is mick it's uh, yeah I'm, I'm guessing irish feels like it would have been the obvious answer yeah <laughs> sure yeah Someone had asked which flag it was, and then they guessed, and he was like, no, it's Italy. I just don't remember what the guess was. Mm. So the regroup. No. Andy Myers is saying that he thinks he said Ireland. <laughs> oh, Ireland. <laughs> Italy, okay. Ireland. I mean, Kevin's got the at least the first letter right. Europe, and it starts with an I. <laughs> I mean, Kevin still calls them Freedom Fries, so I mean, if that gives you a hint. <laughs> so, no shots. All right. Full reset here. So now you can. So. Now he gets to make the decision of who he's going to start trying to go at. Mm -hmm. And you probably have to talon roll that one X Wing that's facing the rest of his ships. Yeah, just so it starts left. to get in position. Um I mean it's risky going for Kova because Kova could just back up and be behind the rock. I, f I feel like and Tyler's not gonna like this. I feel like you just go for everyone at Finn this turn. Just <laughs> three forward everybody and then talon roll the one guy and just everybody go at finn i th yeah and i think only because finn is the most advantageous target of opportunity yeah because i'm pretty sure mcdonald's just gonna back up this turn i would suspect that he would because that if i had kova in that position i would just i back would up. yeah So Poe's not stressed. He still forgot to reach it. I'm assuming Poe just flips. Although, I think if the Poe player were really clever, I'm not saying McDonald's not clever. Okay, That's so what, what I saying. would do with Poe, I wouldn't flip. I would actually two-turn and boost around that rock so that you've now spread and you're, prevent you're providing three different angles um, for your opponent to try to make a decision. And it puts Poe in a better position to try to use his outmaneuver talent that he took. 
Whereas if you just flip, I mean, they could just turn to you and then the joust continues. But if you actually try to get behind them, it's 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 really advantageous for what McDonough's list is trying to do, at least. Mm. All right, so I'm assuming a town roll. But why this way? <laughs> it's just the whimsy in Kevin's voice is always so good. <laughs> I... Why this way, said the fairy princess. <laughs> you just say it in a way as if you're telling a story to a, a young child <clears throat> yep <laughs> I would agree <laughs> so one bank accept the joust I do agree with you though Kevin I think the town roll the other way uh, mm -hmm. would be better because it brings that blue squadron closer to where the fight is probably going to happen instead of farther away Oh no, he's going for Kova. Oh. Well, this is a good example, though, of something you can do that is good for you in X Wing, which is present your opponent with the ability to make mistakes and make decisions that are going to cost him. And I think this game, we've just seen a lot of, like, Annie trying to figure out what to do and just trying to make decisions and yeah. has made some incorrect decisions, which is what McDonough has been trying to do is force him to make incorrect decisions. Yeah, Andy is in chat. Yeah. And a Andy, just <laughs> so you know, we, I, I picked this one because I, I thought uh, there was a few key turns that I wanted to touch on. Um, so, you know, not uh, not to just show how things crumbled and fell apart if they fall apart Ooh. yeah well no well, from the beginning of the game <laughs> at this point i think things crumbled and fell apart for him yeah uh, like the first two turns were fantastic right like that's what we're supposed to be doing here with, with mission debriefing is we're trying to illustrate ways to get better mm -hmm. so. he's flipping huh Interesting. But like you said, that's now closing down the number of vectors that Andy has to chase. It is. Now Andy can just point at Kova and there's at least one ship there, now two. Although because of range and rock, like he's advantageous with his position. But I'd really like <clears throat> had he done like a two turn left and then a boost. And then <clears throat> because Wexley literally can't do anything about it. And he can kind of play that game of like, well, who are you going to go for? And then he also would have been able to have Kova not stressed because he would have been able to use it. Um, the Leia charge on Kova herself instead. Yep. And it does illustrate that point of when you have, you know, two or three ships, you don't want to put them in the same area because like you're saying now, Andy, just has to point his arcs in the general direction of all those ships and something is going to wind up in those arcs and he's going to get to take shots. Whereas yep. splitting Poe off there would have made it much more difficult for Andy to cover all of the possible angles of all three of McDonough's ships. Yep. So I think we're seeing another torpedo, right? The second torpedo. And what Jake said goes doubly true when you're flying against a swarm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, oh, you really goodness, want to make yeah. them turn and pick one. Yep. yep. And especially, I, I mean, we saw I think oh. there was like two or three CIS swarms at this event. I think someone in chat said there was so. two in the final four. Yeah, I played one in the first round and one. But uh, yeah, there was at least like three because there was a Dooku mini swarm and then there was a three hyena, three bomber. Uh, well, hyenas are bombers. Uh, three drones that was also in the cut yep i'm surprised so he's spending aggressively here so pose open to possibly take damage this turn hey look paint he got <laughs> his paint. first evade of the game <laughs> i think i made the comment that that's what an evade looks like <laughs> yeah damage engine
And maybe that's what we do. I was just noticing Jake in chat. He said the previous game. Did they st- wait? We didn't st- record that game, did you? Of uh, Andy's previous game against the Dooku Swarm. Yeah, I think I think we did. Okay, yeah, maybe that's yeah, when we, we did. did. It, was, it was. Yep. <clears throat> He's thinking about the lock. Yeah, from Wexley. I think you got to go for it. Especially with Poe having no token. Nice. Oh, I guess uh, Andy Priest is saying that his game against the Dooku Swarm was not on the oh. table. So it okay. it was somebody else flying against that Dooku, the Dooku Swarm. Swarm. Oh, I think it was uh, Maimon, Robert. That could be. I, I think that's what it was. You may remember him from trolling on Facebook. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> So Cove is measuring, gonna shoot at Wexley, not obstructed. Yeah, I think not obstructed. So three hits. That's a really good natural roll. And the evades just continue to come for Andy. <laughs> there goes Timon. So no shot from the red at Poe, which is the shot he wanted. And it looks like unobstructed range three at Kova. Mm. Jess reroll. Okay. So it's Jess. Some tough dice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the dice were definitely not kind to Andy. I mean, no. inevitably, if you reroll a blank, you will get a blank. But if your opponent does it, <laughs> it does go to paint every time. <laughs> Was it range three either way? I couldn't quite tell from that measure. It looked like it was. Gee, I wonder if Finn's got three. <laughs> God, that's so good. Oh, these dice rolls. But he has to take a strain to do that. <laughs> How can that be good? Strain is punishing, just like gas clouds. You lost your action. <laughs> That's not nothing, Kevin. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, I don't. I'm sitting here trying to think of what Andy can even do right now. Hmm. He can assume- get really hot dice. You assume Kova probably just keeps backing up, right? Mm-hmm. I think, and, uh, if I remember right, Kova occupied that space for quite a while. Like, that general yeah. lane of the board. <sighs> this isn't really tough, because... And now, so blue is the one that's stressed on the bottom, right? Yeah, that's the blue. He's in such a terrible spot because he's going to get shot at by Finn and he doesn't really want to shoot Finn because it's one shot. Yeah. Uh, And, like, the other guys are kind of in his way. Right, so he can't just run fast out that way. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I guess you. Oof, duh. I don't know at this point. Like, I mean, the blue you probably just one bank to the right. 
and I guess exchange shots with Finn, but yeah, I mean, yeah, you don't really want to do that, but you don't really have much choice like in the position that you're you're at. I'm okay with this three. I feel like a shot against Finn's not going to do anything, but yeah. yeah, I get what you're saying. You know, and if that's Jess in the lead, then. You bank just to the right. And she's at one health. Oofta. Yeah. Or you, or you go one forward and hope that the rock helps you with the Poe and Kova shot, but... One bank? Sure. Yeah. I don't like this, but I think you have to boost. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to have to boost, but I... F oh. If you stay there, Jess dies, right? <laughs> Finn just kills her. <laughs> I just saw that. <clears throat> oh, no. Does he block himself? No, he fits. Okay. I did tell you guys we were going to get real wholesome on this show. <laughs> yeah. I think he, and he's just doing what he can to try to get a shot on Poe here, right? Mm -hmm. Like, pray that Jess gets to actually shoot. And yeah, you're just trying to get a shot. This is where the we needed the backup sounds, like the, the dump truck beeping <laughs> for Kova. Yeah. And in the background of the video, you can actually hear someone, I'm assuming Kevin, making beeping sounds. Uh, no, that was actually Ernie that was oh, doing yeah. that. It was Ernie. <laughs> I, I, I later on asked, like, what sound are we going to make then when the she stops instead of moving? And we talked about, like, gears grinding, like something was going to blow up. Poe, do a one forward or a one bank? So, I didn't see, one see the template. One, one forward. forward. Okay, yeah. The safe one forward. <laughs> Yeah, and then barrel rolls. Okay. <laughs> yeah, lining up the bullseye. <laughs> we did. Yeah. Uh, do you guys see that in chat? Yeah, yeah. the conversation about <laughs> lining up Kova facing... The so good. board edge, and then you just back up the first couple of turns. Yeah, as a deployment tactic. So while they're doing this, um, we talked about lining Cove up like that, and then backing up for two to three turns to get into the corner, and then your opponent will be like, "Are you sure you set up right?" No, 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 I set up right. This is part of my part of my opening, <laughs> and you just back yourself into the corner and then come out. <laughs> we were having a lot of fun last night. It was good. We were. So this is what range two obstructed. I'm assuming. Uh, range two unobstructed, I think. Po oh, is okay. Shooting at the middle X wing there. I think he correctly saves his focus here and doesn't uh, spend it, so he can have a focus target lock shot. Mm -hmm. I think that was a smart decision by Andy. Because at this point, right, like you, I guess you just give the hit points to try. It's just shields. You just give yeah. them to try to get damage on Poe. Damage on Poe that doesn't stick anyway. Because of the R2. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Of. It's it's tough. Like Oh Here you have to spend mm -hmm. which he doesn't want to, but he knows he has to. So that must be Jess that has the lock? Uh no, I think that's uh red. Because Jess is on only on one hull at this point. Spending the lock. If this was Jess, he would have just re-rolled with her ability. I well, think it maybe. was already used. Just two. Gets both through on Poe. Hmm. This is when he damage. takes the... Yeah, structural, yeah. Yeah, no, I can hear everyone in the background really high pitch. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> we, were yeah, we, were we were all happy that Andy like finally got some damage through. And, and meaningful damage. 
Yeah, it was it was hard to watch this one. So this I think is Jess's shot, isn't it? I think so. Could he just use the words cuz I'm just going to die anyways. <laughs> so <he uses> Jess. <laughs> So I rips the paint off of Kova. All three shields. Yeah. And more woos in the background. <laughs> we thought this might have been like the start of a possible comeback. Yeah. That might actually be happening because we don't know for sure what happens. Uh, this is where they were trying to figure out if it was range one or not. I think he rules it in arc range two. Yeah, he said. They said, "Is that two? He said, "It's two. And then they yelled for the marshal, who was sitting right there. <laughs> oh no, I yelled for the marshal because they were like judge, and I'm like marshal. <laughs> Doesn't appear to be wiggle room. Vic, I can't believe how long this game took. <laughs> yep, and she's dead anyway. Hey. Oh, that's where Kevin showed the evade, just in case people were wondering what it looked like. Yeah, I had to show him so he could remember what an evade looks like. Uh, you should have done that like six turns sooner for him. Maybe before the game started. Yeah. Had I known. Is this because he was using stream dice? <sighs> oh, boy. We should uh, just copy and paste Dion's little, like, rant that he has about <laughs> the stream dice and the curse or whatever. So I don't have a win condition currently for Andy. I don't think there is one. We said it. Dice, lucky dice can be a strategy. He has to hope they that can. But all dice, of his like, dice let's hit be real. and all of his opponents dice blank. But let's be real here. Like, even dice aside, dice did not help Andy, but this you can really boil down to about two turns of just key decisions that really, really got him behind. Because when he has gotten shots, like they usually aren't bad when he's had a modifier. But let's right. be fair. That uh, overcommit to Poe would have been awesome if it worked. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. If, if that would have worked, we would probably be seeing a completely different game here. Oh, yeah. The game almost is over then. Almost. Right. But that's like saying like the old... Anchorman Sex Panther cologne. It works like 50% of the time every time. Right. <laughs> Just saying, you don't get anywhere by not taking chances, Kevin. Right. Oh, I know, I agree. Sure. Shots you don't take. He took his shot. Wayne Gretzky said anyway. that, and then also Michael Scott. Oh, God, I can hear Kevin in the back pitching an Echo Base after dark. That wouldn't be very, very wholesome. With Dugan? Oh, yeah. it'd be hilarious. <laughs> Ernie was all about it. He was like, but when are you guys going to record that? It has to be Dugan and not Tim yes. Dugan. It oh, can't be Radio FG. Not Tim of Radio TCX. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be that. Like, straight up Tim. Right. No, we, we need Because it's funny. <laughs> I do like this move here. Like, I like that he's just nothing to lose at this point, right? Yep. Try to make a play. I believe the kids call it YOLO. So Andy, sure. Andy Priest is still in in the chat on Twitch, <laughs> and he said that's a good lesson, though, in these tourneys. If you have a game plan, stick to it. Gambling gets you into some games like this. So Andy, I have a question for you. I remember seeing uh, that turn before the overcommit on Poe down into the corner. It looked like you had set your dials and then went back and changed them. Did Ooh. you actually change them and commit, you know, looking at the 
possibility of Poe doing the four forward 4K? Was that did you change your dials to cover that? Oh, I didn't even think of that. I didn't see. Yeah, I saw him like he had his dials set, and then all of a sudden he like he went back through, and I don't know if he was just checking his dials. I thought I had seen some uh, movement on it, like he was you know turning them to different moves. I, I guess so. Okay. Yeah, he said he did. He changed his dials at that point. I've been struggling. That's something I've been struggling with lately. Um, for Andy, like so. I frequently will change my dials, and then later on I realize like I should not have done that. I should. I keep going to myself like, why didn't I just stay with my original plan? Mm -hmm. It's a habit that I've gotten myself into that I need to break. Because I remember Duncan talked about how he often just makes the right decision the first time, and he's he's taught himself to stop changing his mind after the fact because most of the time his first decision is the right one and i keep going back and like i'll change my dials and be like oh, why did i do that like yeah. why didn't i just leave it what it was yeah that's why when i play not that i'm that successful but i always have in my head don't get cute like it's the right move or the cute move sure you know yeah don't chase glory just play your game right so spends the force for two he gets one evade. Yeah, a Andy Priest is saying that. He says he doesn't think he's ever changed a dial and was happy afterwards. So go with your Yeah, <laughs> I need to do that too. It's it's a hard habit to break though. It is. Well, and especially when you're when you start going through that decision tree maybe the second time and you're like, Oh, but what if they do this and what if they do that? And that's also the risk when you're not a good player. You start going like, oh, I wouldn't even thought about that. I probably made a dumb move, and now I'm making the smart move. And then you're like, oh, my dumb move actually would have been a lot better than what I think is a smart move. <laughs> yeah. Yep, and Poe did regen. <clears throat> we just updated the overlay. And Andy Myers says uh, cute moves are for quad jumpers. I also think uh, Kova, right? Yeah. The, the backup, that's a cute move. <laughs> Anything that can go backwards can play can do cute moves. Right. <laughs> so you're a big fan of the shuttle that's going to be available later this week with the ghost. I never said I like cute. Oh, okay. I just said they're cute. It doesn't mean I like it. Okay. Yeah. We live in ice houses and eat gravel in Minnesota. It's just... Wait, eat gravel? Yeah. You don't know? Uh, you have some weird habits, I guess. <laughs> that's very strange, Walker. <laughs> Manly men is what I'm going for. Yeah, I think you could have gone a completely different direction then. I mean, I'm wearing flannel. You could have went with, like, chopping down trees and living in the forest. Yeah, but you're wearing, like, nice flannel, like gay lumberjack, <laughs> not, like, manly man. <laughs> wow, okay. It's just so fancy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> like, that's, like, date Jake. <laughs> yes, every <laughs> Sunday night. I have a date with you two, and it goes horrible <laughs> we had a date yesterday too then because we were together all day uh i was with big vic i was not with you oh that's right you guys were having your dinner together your special right, moment did. at that table and then everyone started yeah. eating your guys's food too or whatever yep it was it, we were eating family style just i just heard vic get mad like just come on everybody eat our food <laughs> well, it was funny because uh he we both got two different things from the uh, Asian restaurant next door. And then Tim Sturm came over and he's like, Hey, what have you got there? Can I try some? And yeah, pretty much everybody wanted to dig in. The Twitch chat saying, uh, I think I heard it on the Birmingham Barons, but one of the hardest things to remember is that if you have a strategy that's working, don't change it late in the tournament. You've seen the strategy every round, but your opponent hasn't. Uh, that's a really good point. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Just think back to high school if you thought you had a funny teacher. That teacher tells that same joke every single year, and it kills yep. every year. You guys are just suckers. <laughs> and it's the same thing here. <laughs> well, and in high school, that's probably what, like twice a year. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Depending on what kind of scheduling they have. Oh, God, yeah. I don't even want to get into that. <laughs> so 
So we did have a good kick out of the uh, talent roll block on the backup. Because he did a talent roll to block Kova's backup. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the red, right? The only remaining oh. ship on the Andy The term, I guess. <laughs> Twitch <laughs> chat. I guess I the, term, that. the term I was looking for was lumber sexual. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Never and that's heard that game. one before. I think. Why did? Yeah, yeah. That. I mean, it, it. Yeah, it was game. I think it comes back on. Okay, because yeah, I was like, we see we have some time, and this I hear him rolling. Jake just got fancy with it. He tried to get cute oh. there at the end. No, that uh, wasn't supposed to happen. I don't know what. Uh, what happened was Andy got a little frustrated. He started giving the fingers on camera, so Jake had to put something up to keep that, was that the, off. The echo base edit. Dion was not a fan of it, so we had to edit that out. <laughs> Yeah, I think that this is the the nail in the coffin. Focus target lock shot. Hmm. Plus fins there for back out. And Kova, right? Yeah. I think Kova is there just to back up. <laughs> Ooh, fins coming in hot. Not needed. Okay. I think there should be something that if like if a ship with Rose on it rams into Finn, he can't take damage that turn. Something thematic. No. No? <laughs> no. The worst part of any Star Wars movie, if I'm going to give my opinion, that scene right there. Everything about that scene. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think many, many people would agree. I will take Jar Jar being tackled by Qui-Gon so he doesn't get run over every time over that. So, target lock. And nothing. Yes, there we go. There's the handshake. Yep. Um, so, we do have takeaways, though, right? This is why we picked this game. Mm -hmm. um, you guys can go ahead and start it. Play your, pl play your game. <laughs> That's kind of what we kind of got to. Also, uh, be careful when you're thinking about overcommitting. Unless you have sense, I don't think overcommitting is a good idea. Yeah, you want to be as certain as you can if you're going to yeah, commit absolutely. hard. Yep, that's and true. And don't, don't, don't let yourself get into that trap of, but what if it worked? Uh, but it didn't, so... Yep. Because I definitely get myself in that where I'm like, oh, but how cool would that have been? Yeah, no, it would have been cool. But, again, it wasn't. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, and I think, too, when you're evaluating the risk, like, well, what is the reward? Um, or, like, if I don't, if it doesn't work, like, where does that put me? And is it an acceptable trade? <clears throat> right. Is it recoverable? Yeah. Because, like I said, I mean, let's just say he didn't, he accounted for the three instead. Um, and he used that blue because he was right where he needed to be if he just would have did a barrel roll or a boost he could have blocked post three turn and if the rest of them just kind of like one banked or one forward in or whatever they all just unload on an actionless poe um let's say he guesses wrong and he does the four four he is in a prime position where he can just turn the next turn and all poe can do is take a focus action and that's all he can do so you you know you take some damage that turn but then the next turn you're in a fantastic position and Poe is in a terrible position. So it's the trade. Um, but yeah, I think that that was the biggest takeaway for me of uh, risk reward. 
Yeah, and evaluate just, the risk and see if it's worth it. Yep, and it's a good mental note for me, like to try to reinforce that. Just I need to go. I myself need to go with my first mm-hmm. inclination and not change the dials later, because it usually is a bad idea to change the dial. So. Yep. But it was good to see McDonough win. He got to the final table the month before and didn't and like it was a close slog fest. So it was good to see that, you know, he ran the same thing and he was able to win. Mm-hmm. So. That's all I got. Yeah, he, he's and McDonough's been putting in a lot of work with that squad. I know he I was talking to him a little bit during the event and he's been playing it for, I don't know, a couple months now. I think probably shortly after what the new sh- that that last wave came out i think is when he started playing it so he's yep. he's been putting in time with it so and you got to see a little bit of how broken finn is uh i, I mean, mean just as an ability it's just yeah he didn't take any damage on those like two turns he got shot right. at sure right yeah. so you got to see it a little bit Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do with Finn. I don't know if they're going to change the wording or if they are just going to make him go up, up, up. But um, currently he's a bargain. Most definitely. <laughs> 38 points. So if you go back to first edition, you can just have that and put him at 18. No, 28 points or whatever it is. Or what is it now? 30. Oh, no, God. It is 19 points, isn't he? Yeah. If that was yeah. first edition, 19 <laughs> points. <laughs> That's a good 19 points. <laughs> what, a Z95? Like, with an ability? A naked X-Wing points. is already two points ahead of that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's I mean, pretty to be cheap. fair, Finn's a big deal, right? That, that's why he's so good. <laughs> sure. Probably makes Windu's kid. <laughs> <laughs> There's fan theories. Think about it. I, I believe it. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, without anything else, do we have any other announcements? War Room coming um, back? I don't. Um, we got more stuff from the event to give away, so we'll have more prize stuff. Like, I got another set of range rulers, and so we had some more cards. I had to decide what I'm going to do with that third set of black dice. I don't know that I need three sets of black dice, so we'll see. Um, yeah. I'm still working on what I want to do for the next episode of War Room, so I don't have any announcements yet on when that'll be, but I'm going to try to get another one in hopefully before the end of the month. And what, we're all going to be going to Worlds, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll definitely go into the last chance qualifier. As will I. I will be there as well for now. Yep. And then I might just be hanging out with Coach in the parking lot after that. I mean, I, I heard hanging out with Coach in the parking lot at Worlds is a pretty good time. God, talk about SPF 30. <laughs> Bring sunblock if you're going to hang out with Coach. Just to spray on him when he falls asleep. <laughs> Just to do him a favor. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. Well, th- All right. thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Have a good night. Good night.